In the world of chip design, the news of New China's 7 nanometer chip has caused quite a stir. This chip, developed by SMIC, has proven to be more advanced than anyone expected. What makes this chip so special and how it was made without the famous EUV machines? In this video, we will explore the details of this breakthrough chip and discuss its potential for further scaling. The Kirin 9000 chip, designed by High Silicon Hawaii's chip design company, is a mobile chip specifically designed for smartphones. It serves as an alternative to Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips, allowing Hawaii to replace expensive Qualcomm processes with their own chip. Surprisingly, the performance of Hawaii's chip is comparable to the Qualcomm chip. Even though the Qualcomm chip is 4 nanometers and a year older, the Kirin 9000 chip is a system on a chip, S, O, C, meaning it contains multiple GPUs, NPUs, neural processing units, and a 5G modem. The most interesting aspect of the Kirin 9000 chip is its fabrication by SMIC Fab in 7 nanometers. Some even refer to it as a 5 nanometer class node, indicating its advanced technology. What sets SMIC apart is not just the fabrication of a 7 nanometer chip, but also the development of a technology suitable for mass production. This means that SMIC will be able to manufacture hundreds of millions of these chips with a stringent yield requirement. Achieving this level of mass production is no small feat and showcases SMIC's capabilities as a fabricator. Challenges of fabricating without EUV machines. Fabricating a 7 nanometer chip without EUV machines is a challenging task. Before the availability of EUV machines, companies like Intel and TSMC pushed the limits of DUV, deep ultraviolet, machines through a technique called multi-patterning. This involved using several masks and exposing the wafer multiple times to pattern a single transistor feature. Although SMIC has successfully achieved the same results as TSMC, they had to expose each wafer 5 to 6 times, significantly increasing complexity and costs. The defect rate also tends to be higher without EUV machines, making high-volume production expensive and inefficient. While SMIC has proven their capabilities with 7 nanometer technology, the question remains, how far can they push the limits with DUV machines? In theory, it is possible to achieve smaller process nodes using multi-patterning techniques, but it would require considerable time and investment. TSMC itself is already using EUV machines for their 3 nanometer chips and still resorting to multi-patterning until the arrival of high NA EUV machines. For China to progress further, they will need to develop novel techniques and stimulate the Chinese industry, attracting investment in lithography machines. This pursuit of self-sufficiency in the semiconductor space could have significant long-term benefits for China. The development of New China's 7 nanometer chip by SMIC is a remarkable achievement. Despite the challenges of fabricating without EUV machines, SMIC has demonstrated their engineering power by achieving comparable performance to leading fabs. Their success not only showcases their capabilities, but also highlights the potential for future advancements in the Chinese semiconductor industry. As we await further developments, it's clear that the world of chip design is in for exciting times ahead.